Hello guys, welcome back to Photographics Academy. All right, so today it's all going to be about AI retouching. So today we're going to be using this particular beautiful AI to retouch this beauty portrait full, everything done inside this AI. We're not going to be using Photoshop at all. We'll be trying to see how AI can manage beauty retouchings and details. And that is why we are here. Welcome to Photographics Academy one more time. Without wasting much of your time, let's quickly get started. So the first thing I would need to do on the image, if you look at it, the before and after, I'm actually tapping it if you look over here. You're going to notice we've not done anything. Yeah, we've not done anything on the image. And because of that, the first thing we need to be doing is to correct the skin. I want to be able to have more like a chocolate brown tone a chocolate brown tone so i wouldn't want a lot of reds and warmness and all of that so having said that if we want to correct the colors what is the first thing we need to affect the reds right okay so i'll just take it first of all to my hsl because those are the options available right inside here so for my hsl i'm going to try to tone down the red see it's already looking brownish then tone down the orange a little bit too. Then go into my hue of the orange and move, move it a bit away from the red. Just something around here. Then we'll go into our cups. Remember, we are trying to reduce the red. So we are in cups, the red, blue and green. So what do we do? We'll drop down the reds a little from here. Beautiful. Then for the greens, push it up slightly because if we go below, it starts adding magenta. So we'll just push it up slightly. Then for the blues, we go opposite of blue because if we go low, it gives us yellow. So we need it slightly cool. Somewhere around here is good. Then for my vibrance, I can actually tone that down. Then go into my white balance and probably just warm it up a little because we are working on a brown tone, not a cool image, very important. So just push it up a little and immediately we're already having a very good color. Okay, you look at that, the before, the after. So we already have the skin tone toned down a bit. So I need it slightly brighter and I need dimensions in the image. So what do we do? We increase the brightness a little. Yeah, by 0 0.16, increase the highlights a little as well tone down the shadows so we'll have that contrast so the next thing i want to fix is the colors of the eye i want the eye to be pure white so i'll go into my local create a mask for the eye over here my eye clear trial. so you see the, what is selected i'll click on it you notice this is the area that is being selected when i hover so i'll go to confirm so being that i want the eyes white so what do i do i just desaturate yeah so I'll just desaturate the eyes like this. Now I get a clean white eye. This is looking unrealistic. Something around here is beautiful. So for the lips, I want it to have dimensions too. So I'll also come over to the lips, click on it and press create. So we'll have a mask for the lips. So I want to increase the highlight on my lips. I want it look to be looking very glossy. So I'm going to increase the highlight on my lips. Uh, add some contrast, increase some shadows, just one or two things here and there. The clarity, let's see how that works. So remember I said I needed a glossy looking lips, so I'm going to reduce the clarity so that it gives us that soft, smooth, glossy look. And probably increase the white a little, desaturate it a little too. Beautiful. Look at that before, after. We're really moving the image very close to what we want to produce at the end of the day. This is good. So now we are pre finished preparing it. Let's see if there's any other thing we can do with the coloring. But I think we are good where we are already. Okay. So being that we are done doing the preparation, the next thing to do is to start the retouching. So I'm going to go to the face panel. Now, let me collapse everything here. So if this is the image you're working on in Photoshop, the first thing you would definitely want to do is to take care of the blemish. So I'm going to increase the acne face removal so that it just takes care of the blemishes. Do the same thing for the body. Although we do not have a body here, but just do the same thing for the body. 
and all of that because of these ones that we're going to be synchronizing at the end of the day so we want it to also remember to affect the body then i'm going to try to restore details to the face i notice it's losing details so i'll come to face this focus repair and just turn it all the way to the top yeah so we'll have details back the next thing i need to do on this image is to uh conduct my basic skin retouching my frequency separation microdogen and burning skin tone matching so let's get started with that so i'm going to close all this down go over to my skin let me close that down close out the makeup okay so we'll go to the skin the first thing i want to apply is my frequency separation so i will increase my frequency separation over here and watch how it handles the image Add a little bit of textures to it and reduce the low frequency slightly. Good. Then I'll go to my neutral gray contour. So this serves as trying to as the slider that tries to restore details and dimensions back to the image. So we also increase the neutral dodging and burning, the neutral gray lightning leveling. So what this does is that gives us that effect of micro dodging and burning. So I think my frequency separation is too high. Then I'll come down to my skin texture. I will increase it so that I restore some details back to the face. I won't be using my AI skin to touch. I'll just touch my skin refinement effect a little. Okay, so, so far so good. This is what we've done. The before, the after, the before, the after. So let's quickly get down to skin tone. So I'm going to match the skin tone. I think we'll be working with this. Then we'll reduce it drastically. Beautiful. That will come to the skin tone balance was to few dabbings here and there to make sure that we have a uniform skin tone at the end of the day so we'll come down to the face over here few adjustments we could make so i want to narrow the nose a little bit more so i'll just make the nose slightly slimmer like that then make it slightly longer the nose wings Want it looking pointed, just like that. The same thing with the roots. So look for the nose roots, nasal roots, slim it down so that that highlight in the middle can even be much more beautiful than the overall nose bridge. Bring it down somewhere around here. So for the lips, I think I need it a bit more ombre. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to plump it up a little. Good. Then I'm going to reduce the width of the lips so that I get more like a circular lips. Okay, so I'll push the upper lips up a little. So then close up the lower lips just a little. Beautiful. Okay, so for my dodging and burning to bring that uh, dimension of dodge and burn out, I will go down to my makeup over here. Yeah. That I'm going to enhance eyebrow. I'm going to try to enhance the eyebrow. Then enhance eye makeup. Very important. So the shadows definitely needs to go up so that we'll get those details back and the highlights. Beautiful. Okay, so so far, the before, the after. So of course we can enhance the lips makeup if there is any. Then if there is any blushes, we can increase it. Now I want to add some eyelash to the image. So I'm going to come down here to my eyeshadow, eyebrow, eye brush, makeup, eyelashes. Okay, so I'll just click on it and find the one that works for me more. I want it more intense and more visible. Oh, uh, this doesn't work. This doesn't work. I think this works more, so we just increase it. Beautiful. Then for my eyebrow, I might want to change the shape of the eyebrow to something more aki. I think this is beautiful reduce it okay so for my lips let me add just a little color to the lips little pinkish glossy color to the lips that's beautiful reduce it a bit amazing this is good okay so uh the next thing i would want to do is to add some contour so that the dimensions will be more definite so let's look for a contour that will suit the overall makeup of the image already I think I love this effect over here. But let's see if we'll have something better. This is wider. This opens up more. 
uh, see the intensity increased. Okay, so this makes it slightly dark. I think I actually like a first one. I think I actually like the first one. Yeah, this is not bad. So we we'll reduce this. We we'll reduce this. I like this one. Go back to my shadows and raise it. Or rather, we can go to the plum. Because I need to have few light opening in the lightning. I feel the face is looking too shadowy. So we can go to the plum and just look at few areas that we want to brighten up a bit the cheek. We yeah, want to add just a little lightning to the cheek. Just like that. Beautiful. Then the corners of the nose. Let's see the nasal. Yeah. Beautiful. Just like that. Let's see if this. Just... Works for us. Okay, the socket, eye socket, I guess. I don't want that working. Okay. Nude face. Oh God, but not anything. Okay, so by using nude face, let's see how much it affects. Okay, so we just leave this here. All right, so this is what we'll have the before the after the before the after so i think my cheek is too much so we need to reduce the effects okay which other one did we make face is also too much is it all right so this is the result the before the after if you even want to make changes to the shape of the body you can go all go down all the way to the body area and just click on the model so it just affects the shape overall but you need to reduce the intensity because it's looking off remember it's a beauty portrait so you don't need to do a whole lot then i think i would want a little v-shape on the face of the image i just want it to look v-shape kind of and maybe a little dramatic contact to the eyes that is brownish, something like this. Careful, we lose it. Oh, this is beautiful. Okay, so I will just go over to the face. Okay, 3D shape. So we'll go over to the 3D reshape. I want to just have a V kind of shape on the image. Now this pushes it up. The shape of the face, okay. Okay, so this is what I'm looking for. Just a little V shape on the face. Good, beautiful. And we are good to go. So this was the image before we started. This is the before. This is the after. This is the before. This is after. Now we can decide to take this and edit with it here and apply it on this images. How would that work? So we're still on the first one, hold our shift and click the last one and click on synchronize and press confirm. So let's wait for it. All right, it's all done. So remember, we didn't retouch for the body. So if you want to smoothen out the body, it's very simple. All you need to do is just go all the way up to the frequency separation area and select the uh, frequency for the body and it just smoothens out the body. But for me, in this one, I might just want to crop out the body from this image. I do not want the body inclusive, so I'll just go to my crop tool and remove the body. Just leave it like this. Beautiful. So I think there are a few changes we need to reconsider in this one. I think the mouth, the lips change we did in the other one didn't work for this. So we will go straight to the lips. and turn it off yeah so we'll reduce the width reduce the plumb okay then for my masking here we are we stayed on the lips i think this is where we treated the lips for the masking okay so we'll just bring it back to originality good so we'll have a retouched image look at that Beautiful. The before, the after, the before, the after. The same thing with this one. So I think this needs a little correction here and there. But that's basically how it works. So this is the one 
will retouch manually tell me what you think about this particular ai in the comment section and if you want to gain access to it all you need to do is to go to the description of the video and you will see the link through which you can download this ai and if you download it and fill up the google form that we pasted there you are going to be getting 20 free credits to try out your images on it and see how amazing it is to work with it well thank you so much for watching make sure that you subscribe to our youtube channel if you do subscribe turn on the notification bell to get notified every single time we drop a new video until then see you on the next one